Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Priscilla. I'm the owner of A Life Full of Simplicity. In today's video, I'll be unboxing the Wisdom of the Oracle Divination Cards by Colette Baron reed So this is 52 cards and a guidebook. Uh, I believe the uh, the artist is the usual one, uh, Jenna, who does all the artwork on um, Colette's decks. So in the back, it says, Colette Baron Reed has expertly blended elements of traditional tarot and other ancient divination tools into a sacred communication system, Wisdom the Oracle. The Oracle, whose face gazes out from every card, acts as an intermediary between you and spirit, telling you um, of your fate and destiny. Uh, the 52 card deck and companion guidebook will allow you to interpret her messages about all aspects of your journey with over 250 independent meanings that can speak to an unlimited number of circumstances. Imagery of animals, the elements of nature, and other potent symbols will touch you deeply so that a soulful dialogue about your life can take place. The Oracle is waiting for you to consult her so you may receive answers and know the way forward to peace, purpose, prosperity, and love. So in the U.S. it retails for $21.99 and in Canada $28.99. I did pay retail value for the deck. And it's published by Hay House, like usual. Nothing inside, just blue. Whoa, that's a thick book. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Let's put that. Let's take off this paper. So the box did come shrink wrap, just to let you know. And inside there's this paper, which I prefer. When it comes to decks, I prefer there to be a paper maybe around the cards and instead of being shrink wrapped. Okay, let's get into the book. This is a thick book, very thick, which I love. Colette always has uh, very good guidebooks with her decks. So as you can see, we have a really good table of contents, all 52 cards here. So you can easily get to the card that you want uh, whenever you want. So we have a note about the cards, what an oracle is, what divination is, and this little introduction and then how it works how to work with this deck in particular let's see do 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 Okay, so please know this is very important. Getting a reverse card just means that spirit is giving you extra protection and letting you know of uh, letting you know a better way of doing things. There is nothing to worry about. So that means she has prote protection messages in here, which are her typical reversals. We have a preparation. We have a one card reading with some sample questions, two card reading, and then a three card reading, and then we have a clarity card. Okay. Okay, wait. So meaning of cards. So there's five meanings for each card. Essential meanings, oracle message, relationship message, prosperity message, and protection message. So essential meanings okay so these are the core concepts the card represents and they are all aspects of the human experience learning the essential meanings by heart will help you better converse with the cards over time these meanings are the focal point uh, focal point sorry of your dialogue with the divine okay Oracle message. This is a general answer to a question and should always be read before you focus on the meanings related to this specific subject relationships or prosperity okay then we have a relationship message which uh, if you're inquiring about a relationship this is the section to read after you check the general oracle message you can ask questions about any relationship past or present or about meeting someone new 
You cannot, however, ask for details about someone you have not yet met. All relationships covered are heart-based, and they may involve romantic partners, family, friends, or even companion animals. Great. Then we have a prosperity message. Uh, this section deals with your career, creative projects, and anything related to business or finance. After reading the Oracle's message, consult this section for answers that are specific to this area of your life. Then we have a protection message. So this would be the reversals. They are not meant to be feared or discarded. Um, for they serve to help you avoid difficulties or to remind you that you are loved, guided, even when you lose your faith due to temporary circumstances. Getting a reverse card is a sign that you are being safeguarded and divinely directed. It is something to celebrate. Uh, and then it says, regardless of the uh, topic of your question, the protection, protection message applies. And it gives you some examples of readings, some questions, and then like uh, ex example of how they're interpreted. Okay, so then we have the actual cards. So as you can see, essential, oracle message, relationship, prosperity, and protection. So it's like that for every single thing. So we have like the number of the card plus a little sample of the card, name of the card, and whatnot. Everything is in black and white, as you can clearly see. And is there anything in the back? About the artist. Nope. Okay. So as always, I will um, pick a card afterwards and uh, read from the guidebook afterwards. I will um, read all the meanings so you get a sense of what everything is says. Okay, so these are the backs of the cards. They're really interesting. You can see faces in them. Obviously, they are reversible. It says ask and know all around which is really cool. Okay, so first one we have is a Yang. And again, there's faces in cards. Then we have Yin, Between Worlds, Higher Power, Orphaned, not for you, to the sea, community, treasure island. I love this because I love turtles. So pretty. Unfinished symphony. by the book, a change in the wind, fork in the road, <laughs> llama, so cute. Then we have truth be told, love the owl. Then we have message in a bottle, all that glitters, the fates, serendipity, pretty flexible, imagine, clean it up. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a moose. Then we have blessed, peace. Time for a nap. Oh, so cute, the fox. Round and round. This looks like the backs. Yeah, the backs. Happy, happy. Exchanging gifts. Building blocks. Breathe. 
TikTok. Why? Here and now. Chaos and conflict. A leg up. Loyal heart. Come to the edge. Never ending story. To be fair, which is the one that's on the box. Then we have new life. Co-create. Soulmates. Chop wood. Deep knowing. Thinker. Time to go. Regeneration. Go the distance. Poised. Observer. No place like home. Milk and honey. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> and lastly, mending. So uh, the cardstock is obvi obviously this is older deck. So the cardstock is the thicker cardstock. It is glossy, as you can see, and it's the kind of cardstock that sticks together, which I am not a fan of. I actually like the cardstock that's better now. Um, I'm actually more of a fan of that, to be honest with you. It shuffles much better. But hopefully with time and with use, uh, they stick less together, which is what I'm hoping. Okay, so we're gonna read a leg up with the polar bears. They're so cute. Love it. Okay, this is 34. Okay, 34, a leg up. Essential meanings, receiving help, Delegating authority, interdependence. Oracle's message. You've come to the point, you come to a point where going it alone is no longer optimal for you. Life has a way of presenting you with the perfect people to align with who can give you a leg up during this time, uh, sorry, during this next phase of your journey. Help comes to you in all the areas of your life where you need a boost. The trick is to accept the, uh, that aid so freely given. When you embrace interdependence, allowing teamwork and independence to com uh, commingle, miracles happen. Now is such a time. Relationship message. Relationships are healthy, thrive on interdependence. It's important to recognize that you need others as much as they need you. You must allow people to support you just as you are there for them. This is a time to be vulnerable, to speak up about your needs, and to ask them to be fulfilled. Trust. You will be met with kindness and love. Don't expect others to read your mind, though. Ask, and it is given. Prosperity message. Now is the perfect time to seek advice from a mentor or business advisor who has been where you want to go to help you get there too. If you do, you will receive very good counsel that will aid in your prosperity. It may also be the case that your endeavors have grown and you are in a position where you just can't do it all yourself anymore. Time to bring on those who can give you a leg up. Trust that help is available and it will indeed appear. Delegate authority to others so you can take steps towards your big dream. The perfect people will arrive at the perfect time, so long as you step forward with just a muster seed of faith. Protection message. So this is the reversal. So let's reverse it. Are you always insisting on doing everything yourself? Do you have little faith that help will come, convinced that the burden of the world is doomed to remain on your shoulders? 
Your beliefs about going it alone need to be discarded as they do not serve you at all. Let others help you. Yes, it will make you feel vulnerable to admit you need a helping hand, but to be vulnerable is good for you have a lesson to learn. You must let someone else assist. You can't do life all by yourself. Once you shift your expectations, you'll be amazed by how quickly help arrives to give you a leg up. And this is everything that I read. So we have essential meaning, oracle message up until here. Then we have the relationship message. Prosperity starts here, ends here, and then the protection message. So it's like um, three pages and a quarter. So that's a lot of information. And that's why the book is so thick. I absolutely love that though. Um, Colette always does a great job. I'm actually a really big fan of her decks because she always does a fantastic job when it comes to her guidebooks. And they're always so well written. I think she's a really good author uh, when it comes to the guidebooks of her decks. I do have quite a number of decks already by her, which I'll link in the cards throughout this video. Um, that way you can check them out. Obviously, I am missing quite a number of her decks, but that's okay, too. Um, so I do thank you so much for watching. Do let me know what you think of this deck in the comments below. This is an older deck, so it has been out for quite a while. Uh, let me see when this was published. Um, 2015. So this came out in 2015, so it is an older deck. But I do really love it. Like, I, I love it very much. Also... Something to note, a lot of people don't like borders. Uh, on this particular deck, I don't mind them. Like, I don't mind them at all. Uh, there's some decks where I don't like borders, depending on the border. Sometimes I'm, it depends really on the artwork and what's going on in the imagery, if I like it or not. But here, it doesn't bother me. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this deck. I'm super excited to use it more. I find it uh, to be great. And the words, keywords and whatnot on the cards are really, uh, I thought that they were really uh, well chosen for each card. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this uh, channel. Turn on that bell so you can be notified every time I post a brand new video. And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumb up thumbs up as it's greatly appreciated. I do thank you so much and I hope you have a great day.